Rob from Hopzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we've got a bottle of Brew Dogs Paradox Isle of Aaron coming in at a whopping 15% ABV. It's Sunday night, I like to have a big old stout on a Sunday night. I mean, gotta get over the fact that you're going back to work in the morning. <laughs> so I really enjoy this range of beers. I've been accused of a few things in the past. Whether it's been very critical of Brewdog, and I'm going to be hands up, I have been very critical of Brewdog. I've had some fantastic times at, up at Brewdog. I mean, and, 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 I mean, you cannot kind of like surpass the, the, the like a, an on, on, honest um, kind of situation of meeting the people and seeing what's going on and kind of understanding what they're about. And also, at the same time, people are going to give me a bit of stick from being a bit of a, a bit of a fanboy, which is like contrasting. Depends who you ask. Some people say I'm a bit of a fanboy. Some people will say. I'm a bit of a, a bit of a shit <laughs> regarding Bruno beers, but throughout all this, I've always been a big fan of their beers, and when they're good, they're absolutely stonking. And this range, the Paradox range, has always really impressed me. I'm not a whiskey drinker, but I love the uh, kind of idea of um, kind of searching out things and, and and experiencing new flavors and things like that. Things beyond what you you used to. And I've had some really interesting things as part of this range. As I said, I'm not a big whiskey drinker, but it kind of brings a bit of it in, in an acceptable level for a beer drinker to enjoy in a lovely, lovely, really well produced Imperial Stout. This is one, the next one that I'm going to look at. I've had, I've had a number of these in the past. I haven't reviewed all of them. I haven't drank all of them at home, but I've really enjoyed them. I'm big thanks to my mate Martin who bought me this for Christmas. What a guy, what a friend, eh? Be, buy you a big old 15%. Um, whiskey barrel aged beer. I was chatting to the guys at uh, Brewdog in um, Leeds the other day, and uh, Alex, who's the manager of the Brewdog Bar at the moment <laughs> in Leeds, says he tries to keep all their um, all the whiskies that they age have and will and things like that. Uh, all the other all whiskies that they age um, Paradox in, he tries to keep them in stock, which is a really nice idea because even if I can just get a sniff of the cap or something, it's just to get that idea of what beer, uh, what the whiskey is like before you even put it in a lovely big old stout. Beer in the glass, absolutely black as night. It's got a real sheen to it, very thin ring around the edge, kind of like a cinder toffee. Didn't pour massively gloopy and full, but we'll find out if it's um, a bit more like that when we taste it. So let's check out the aroma. I don't know a hell of a lot about Isle of Arrow whiskey, you see, I'm bumping into it like an idiot. But I'm eager to understand, eager to learn. That's beautiful. It's got a big, sweet um, molasses note, it's got a slightly salted caramel, which is absolutely beautiful. And there's a hint of kind of sherry. Uh, obviously, big molasses, big raisins, big bitter chocolate, coffee, hint of kind of wood bark. But the thing that's really jumping out at me is that lovely sweetness and that hint of kind of like burnt caramel, salted caramel without a doubt. It's salted caramel, bit of chocolate, and Big heavy roast espresso. That's a beautiful smelling beer. Yeah, dry fruits. But the, as I said, those are the flavour that really jump out at me, and they're beautiful. Lovely smelling beer. So let's dive in and see. Let's find out if it tastes, hopefully, as thick as I'm expecting. So it ain't really pour that way. Anyway, let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah, it's not massively full actually, which I think some in the past. My favourite of this range, which is the, um, it's nice though. <laughs> let, don't let me downplay that. Paradox Jura, uh, not Jura, the um, grain has been my favourite so far. Mm. Definitely medium body, really drinkable, ridiculously drinkable, 15%. As far as the flavours go, it, 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 it's quite close to what you get on the nose. Maybe uh, uh, quite a lot more, nice amount of whiskey and burn there. That's lovely. Um, it's currently um, late January 2014. I'll probably post this in the summer. <laughs> you know what I'm like, I hoard videos like 
um, <laughs> like DJ holds beer, but um, but it's pissing it down. I say it's it's a miserable, filthy day. We've got a, a log fire going upstairs in the in the, in the lounge, um, and this is the perfect beer for that. It's got a big warming alcohol end to it, which doesn't come sharp and spirity. It's got a lovely warmth to it. It's got a lovely roundness to it. It's got a smokiness. It's got a salty character. Mm. Starts sweet like bourbon, which I'm a, I do, I'm not a spirit drinker, but I do prefer bourbon over whiskey. I like the sweetness that something like that brings, which is a sugary caramel sweetness, and this is definitely in this beer. Big raisin. I'm saying more licorice this time round, but de definitely a big sweet sugary uh, molasses caramel. Without a doubt, a nice salty edge as I, you know, as I predicted from the nose. Ridiculously palatable, considering how strong it is. Maybe because it's a little bit thin. It probably is thin for 15%, to be honest. Up that kind of like, I don't know if it, if it, excuse me, if it's oats or whatever, whatever which needs to beef it up. Excuse me, it's quite heavily carbonated. Got hiccups. Something slightly Belgian about it, oddly. Um, maybe it's those lovely um, uh, Imperial Stouts I've had from, from um, Strauss. Uh, stuff like their Black Album, and the Cuvée Delphine. It reminds me of those to a certain degree. There's a nice tang, which comes in the form of maybe a hint of kind of the burnt edge of um, orange marmalade. Then it rolls onto a, yeah, a real quite tart, homemade orange marmalade, Seville orange marmalade. So you get a bit of sweetness, get a bit more of that charred edge on a, a piece of slightly burnt toast. I know Terry Kay talks about this one, uh, quite often. He loves his toast to be a bit burnt. I don't, but I can just, I can see, I mean, just from being a, from a, bit of kid, and my mum used to overdo the toast a bit. I mean, that and a bit, I mean, it's that charred edge of the charcoal -y burnt character that matches up really nice with that slight tang of kind of really bitter oranges, which hides in there and has a certain um, character that um, matches in really nicely with um, with a coffee flavour. Yeah, only thing I can say that would detract from this, it's a bit thin. It could be a bit beefy, I know I've already said that, but I think that's the only thing that this down because that's really nice. Warming alcohol hanging around in the back of the throat, but as I said, night like tonight, this is the kind of beer that you want to be enjoying. As we are, we actually, right now, I think I'm two days uh, departed from Burns Night, so there we go. How fitting to have a bottle of the fantastic Brewdog Paradox Isle of Aaron, 15% ABV. From the Brewdog Brewery up in um, Ellen, in Scotland, just in Aberdeenshire. Lovely beer. Maybe not the best from this range. My personal favourite so, so far continues to be Paradox Grain and um, Jura was very nice as well, but Grain for me, I've still got a bottle of that. That's one of those beers I try and hang on to. But it's so damn tempting to drink another bottle of it. Anyway, I could go on forever. This range of beers is absolutely top draw. Um, if I can grab a hold of a bottle of this, take it over to my mate over in San Diego and I visit San Diego quite soon, I might do that. I might do that because I think it's just one of those beers that does a really good job of um, expelling lovely amounts of whiskey character in a perfect amount into a lovely imperial stout. I think it's done a, done really nicely. So go out there, check it out. It's another stormer from Brewdog. Their dark beers knock it out of the park most of the time. So. Get in there, try it, drink it, love it. I'm Rob from popscene.com. I'm waffling now. I'll see you next time. Cheers. It's 15%. Give me a minute. <laughs>